For this lesson, we will continue to translate linear equations, and we just won't use the flowchart, but essentially we're using the same steps. So for my first example, I have four more than five times a number results in 34. So remember, we read the question first. I'm trying to find the number, so I'm gonna read the question. I'm going to assign a variable, and my variable is the number, so the number is my unknown, and I'm going to assign that to be x. I don't have to write this one out in words because as you can see, it's written in words already. So now I have to look for those key terms that we've learned before. So more than, remember, means addition. Obviously four is going to be a plus. Five times a number would be five times the number x, results n would be that equal to, and then of course 34 would be 34. So this would be the equation that I would use. So four more than five times a number. You might also have written the plus four at the end, which would be a little bit more correct, but honestly either one is correct. To solve then, remember I would subtract four from each side to get 5x equals 30, and then I would divide by 5 to get x equals 6. That would be my answer. So because it's not a story problem, I wouldn't have to write out the full sentence. My result is just 6. This one is a story problem, so obviously it's a little bit more difficult. So I'm going to read the question. Your friend made 430 less than twice what you did during one week. If together you made $1,370, how much did each of you make? So that's the full question. And I need to assign a variable. And I'm going to write my variable as what I made during one week. So I'm gonna say X is what money I made. Now, our friend made more than us, but they tell us what our friend made in relationship to us. So I'm going to assign another variable, but really I'm going to use x. We're gonna say our friend made 430 less than, remember less than is that one in the wrong order, twice what we made. So if we made x, twice what we made would be 2x, and 430 less than that would be subtracting 430. So friend, made 2x minus 430, I made x. So those are my two variables, are x and 2x minus 430. In words, what's happening here is the money I made plus the money that my friend made would be the total money for the week. So let's plug things in. I made X dollars. My friend made 2X minus 430 because that was twice what I made, but 430 less than that. So 2X minus 430. Not a bad idea to plug that guy in in parentheses. The total made is 1,370. And now I'm just going to solve because this is a nice equation. So X plus 2X, this is in parentheses. Um, I did that because sometimes this is gonna be a subtraction, in which case we would be very careful. This is addition, so really this is just X plus 2X minus 430 equals 1370. I'm going to combine those two to get 3X minus 430 equals, oops, I forgot the seven on that last one, 1370. Now I'm trying to isolate 3x, so I will add that 430 to get it over to the other side of my equation. That gives me 3x equals 1800. Remember our zero plus zero is zero, seven plus three is 10, so I would carry the one. One, three, and four is eight, and one plus nothing is one. Now I would divide by three to get that x equals 600. Remember that what I'm trying to do is solve to find how much each of us made. And so if I made x, I made $600, and my friend made two times x minus 430. So two times 600 is 1200, minus 430 is 770. And so I made $600 
and my friend made $770. So hopefully she'll buy me lunch. Why don't you try this one on your own, then press play to see how you did. Step one, we need to read the question. So this week we sold eight less than three times the amount of items we sold last week. In two weeks, you sold a total of 492 items. How many items did you sell each week? So this week, I'm gonna call that week two, we sold eight less than three times the amount that we sold week one. So we're gonna say that X is week one items. So week two would be eight less than three times what I sold in the first week. So that would be three times what I sold in the first week, but eight less than that equals week two items. Honestly, hardest part right there. Once you get that, it's smooth sailing. So in words, the relationship is week one items, plus week two items equals total items. My week one items were x, my week two items were three x minus eight, my total items are 492, that's using my known and my two unknowns. And now it's just an equation I can solve. x plus three x is four x, I will add eight to each side of the wall. And then I will divide by four, which gives me 125. So what does that tell me? That tells me week one, I sold 125 items. What did I sell week two? I can do it a couple of different ways, but one easy way is three times 125 minus eight which is 375 minus eight, which is 367. Not a bad idea to double check by adding those together to make sure I get 492, and I would. And of course, I would write the sentence in week one, or last week, I sold 125 items in week two, I sold 367 items. Great job.